Good day. In this video, we will be going to discuss about SCORE model and its process in supply chain management for hospitality management. What is SCORE model? SCORE model help deliver value to the customer by purchasing, production, and logistics that work in concert directed by overall strategy. The word SCORE means supply, chain, operations, reference. It is a management tool used to address, improve, and communicate supply chain management decisions within a company and with suppliers and customers of a company. The model integrates business concepts of process re-engineering, benchmarking, and measurement into its framework. This framework focuses on five areas of the supply chain. These are plan, source, make, deliver, and return. The first framework process in supply chain is plan. In supply chain, the demand and supply planning and management are included in this first step. The elements include balancing resources with requirements and determining communication along the entire chain. The plan also includes determining business rules to improve and measure supply chain efficiency. Example for planning. You need to estimate how many hamburgers you are going to make, decide where you are going to make them, and determine what your supply chain priorities are. You may need to choose whether to focus on quality and freshness, customer service and convenience, or low cost. These choices will influence the other decisions and trade-offs that you make throughout the supply chain. The next step is source. This step describes sourcing infrastructure and material acquisition. It describes how to manage inventory, the supplier network, supplier agreements, and supplier performance. It also discusses how to handle supplier payments and when to receive, verify, and transfer product. Example for source. You need to decide where you will buy your ingredients and supplies. You will also need to negotiate with your suppliers in order to get the best prices, along with the best quality and service. It might be better to have suppliers that are close by, so that transporting products is fast and cheap. Or it might make sense to choose suppliers that are farther away but can provide the products at a lower cost or in larger quantities. Next is make. Manufacturing and production are the emphasis of this step. In this process, always consider, is the manufacturing process make to order, make to stock, or engineer to order? The make step includes production activities, packaging, staging product, and releasing. It also includes managing the production network, equipment and facilities, and transportation. Example for make. Let us say you need to manage the process of making your hamburgers. It will help if you can define the stages of your manufacturing process and how long each of them will take. You may also need to decide whether you should make the hamburgers by hand or if you can buy a machine that can make them better, faster, and cheaper than a person. Next is deliver. Delivery includes order management, warehousing, and transportation. It also includes receiving orders from customers and invoicing them once product has been received. This step involves management of finished inventories, assets, transportation, product life cycles, and importing and exporting requirements. Example for deliver. You need to manage the logistics of getting your hamburgers into your customers' hands. That means you'll need to decide whether you want customers to pick up their hamburgers at a counter, or whether a server will carry the hamburgers to their table. Or perhaps you need to have a drive through window, or deliver your hamburgers to your customers' homes or offices. And lastly, the return. Companies must be prepared to handle the return of containers, packaging, or defective product. The return involves the management of business rules, return inventory, assets, transportation, and regulatory requirements. For many products, it's important to think about what will happen to them after your customer is finished using them. For customer service and supplier, 
the processes must be associated with any kind of return and disposal of goods. In addition, the returning process deals with the management of product returns, including defective items, excess inventory, and end-of-life products. Returns management involves reverse logistics, processing returned items, and recycling or disposing of products as necessary. Efficient return management can minimize costs, reduce waste, and support sustainability initiatives. An example for return process is spoiled food. In this case, you may need to think about washing of containers, packaging, or returning of defective products. In SCORE model, it is important that you need to decide what else you need in order to make the supply chain work. You may need to hire people with specific skills, which means you need to think about how you will find them, and how you will measure their performance. And there may be other processes that you need to have in place for your supply chain to achieve its goals, such as marketing programs or accounting policies.